liberating um, transitioning to more improvised music and it, it felt more me and it was a huge challenge for me definitely in the beginning and, and it still is a challenge for me you know day to day just trying to figure out how sincere I'm being you know um, when I play and when I write and um, I think the ultimate goal is is to try and get to the core of that whilst also using that discipline that that um, was uh, kind of what I started with, you know, like um, having that you must, we, we had a very strict teacher who was like, you must learn this, these particular tunes and um, by this particular time for this particular examination, that sort of thing. Um, and emphasis wasn't so much on emotion or even really identity or anything. It was about execution. And, and I'm so grateful for, for that training, but there's a certain point of, of okay, um, how much of that is what I want to do, you know, and how much of it is actually being sincere as opposed to just jumping hoops or uh, training like um, like athletics, you know, that sort of thing. challenges being a bassist and leading your own band that um, it's, it's slightly slightly different than being a horn player you know um, but if you're playing with um, musicians who are all listening and, and ready to give you know it's kind of in a way it's kind of all the same in a way you know um, I think there are certain things that a bass player can do to help shift things put things in a different gear or change color you know and um, and I that's something I try and think about a lot I try and see what things that I can do to change up textures and and um, to communicate to, to create like a different space for for other people I play with you know and I I try not to think too much about um, uh, trying to fit a role necessarily I think more about trying to fit the people that I'm playing with as opposed to the role that I'm supposed to to um, to take on. something that's attracted to me I mean I have people that I love working with because 
we just have a common language and um, just the personalities are, are generally really open, you know. And But it's also very exciting for me to, to see what can happen with um, people I've never played before, you know, with before. And um, um, I think as far as instrumentation goes, um, you know, there are certain tunes that I've written that fit a certain color or fit in fit a certain group of instrumentation you know but um, I think I, I'm kind of open like I like to see where things can go you know in, in the unknown you know I'm not necessarily I'm well I'm definitely not a person that that um, sees a vision and that vision has to be the same each way you know um, it's exciting to me and and it's also ch super challenging and I like that challenge of trying to fit and trying to see where, where things are pushing or pulling, you know. It's risk, but you're still playing with people and you're still respecting people. And, you know, the worst thing, I think, for humanity is, like, when people aren't listening to each other.